You and I have crossed paths in some funny places over the years. I think I first met you when you were playing David Justice in Moneyball, and you and David Justice have like a, a, a real deep friendship and connection and history. You were the perfect person to play that role. Yeah, you know, Dave is like my big brother and has been since 93. So when, before when, Moneyball. Oh, way, way, way before Moneyball. The David Justice story is this. When I uh, was a junior college baseball player, one of my teammates came home, uh, came to the park one day and said, hey, did you watch the Braves game last night? I said, no, I don't watch the Braves. We're in you know, the Bay Area. I watch the Giants. He said, watch the game. So I go and I see David Justice. And I'm like, holy moly, this guy looks exactly like me. And proceeds to go yard. And then later in the game goes yard again. I go back to, uh, to practice the next day, and I'm like, coach, I want to change my number. Uh, I had a new favorite player at that time. Uh, I went to the Giants-Braves game when the Braves came to town, and I went to BP, and I ran up to the fence, and he comes running off the field. I'm like, Dave, Dave. And he's looking at me like, man, I'm, oh, my God. I'm, it's like I'm looking in a mirror. I'd say, hey, man, you're my favorite player. These, my, my teammates call me Baby Justice and all this, that, and the other thing. He gives me some gloves. I end up going on a ride to Riverside and uh, having a 22-game hitting streak with his gloves. I go back to the game. I tell him about it. He's like, that's fantastic. I get signed with Atlanta. I go to the big league, uh, to the big league clubhouse on my first day, and I'm in street clothes. And I'm like, Dave, Dave, you remember me? He's like, yeah, I remember you, but are you supposed to be in here? He's like thinking I'm stalking him at this point. I said, no, 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 I signed with the team. I'm here. So from that day, from that moment, he put his arm around me and he says in the big league clubhouse, hey, this is my little brother. You treat him like you would treat me. Whoa. And from that day, he's been like a big brother to me. Wow. He took me all around Atlanta wow. when I was there wow. rehabbing. And so when I met Bennett Stephen Miller. Stephen Bishop joining the show for those just joining us on the radio. Ben Lyons in for Rich. This is the Rich Eisen Show. When I met Bennett Miller on my first audition, he, you know, they asked me about my uh, baseball background. And I told them, you know, I played in college. I played professionally. Uh, but more importantly, I know David and I know him well. So there's nobody on earth more prepared to play this role than me. Unless you get David, which clearly you're not going to do or else I wouldn't be here. So the second audition, Bennett says, have you told David you're up for the role? I said, I'm not telling him anything until I book it. And so after the fourth audition, I finally booked it and got to tell David. And then, you know, the rest is history. And thank God he liked what I did. And uh, we're still close. We play golf all the time. And, you know, Dave is, you know, Dave, if you're watching, love you, man. Thank you for everything in life. I and, love it. Uh, they always say in Hollywood, it's the person who plays the role who's destined to play the role. Like you get the, the right actor for the right role. It's the way it should be. And you, that's, there's no one else on earth who should have played David Justice in that movie besides you. When you're doing scenes with Brad Pitt in that movie, it's a big moment for you, right? Huge. In your career. Huge. The day before, the night before, a little nervous. You do anything a little different. And how, what do you learn from a day like that as an actor? Um, well... Leading up to that, I had been fortunate to work with some Oscar winners already, at, you know, Jamie Foxx, Billy Bob Thornton, you know, and some, some very high-end actors. So I was prepared in that regard, but it was Brad, and Brad was kind of like my, my acting uh, guy that I wanted to emulate his career. So, you know, I, I was nervous. Fortunately, I was in my comfort zone, though. I was on a baseball field, and I was in a baseball uniform with a bat in my hands, and so... If there was any way that I was going to be okay with it, it was going to be in that context. And, and you know, fortunately, Brad was such a great guy. We did the, the, the cage scene, and we're, uh, I'm hitting, I'm hitting, we do the scene. It's just me, Brad, and the director for rehearsal. And director Bennett says, cut on rehearsal, and walks away. And Brad looks at me, looks me up and down, and goes, you got some skills, don't you? And he walked away and left me in the cage alone with nobody to with that hanging. I'm like, wow. did anybody see that? <laughs> no, no, oh no! Is that dreaming? Is this real? Is you know, it real. And and you know, he continued to give me a lot of praise, yeah, and he great. was very generous. And Brad's a great guy.